previously on Tales from the Basement. By the way, what was your name? I'm not sure I ever caught it. My name is Clint Root Smasher. Uh, I'm Aranus Oakenheel. My friends just call me Aaron. I'm Kel. It's nice to meet you. Solaris. As you're standing there, you feel this heavy object slam into your side. Take three bludgeoning damage, please. You see her standing there kind of with her arms up in the air. Oh, there it is. And this hulking and sort of three? grotesque okay, uh, just, so humanoid shape in the darkness. Um, as you squint at it, it comes into full view. It looks like this corpse. More and more uh, zombies begin to wander through the halls, uh, filling the space beyond um, actively popping up in the distance. After that, the last zombie has fallen, you're surrounded by the various corpses of about eight zombies or so. Um, and uh, it's quiet for the moment, time being. Um, you do see all around you more of these side, these branching paths. You see the, the minecart main path goes down the center way, goes deeper in the, uh, down the, down the main tunnel, and then there's all these side tunnels branching off. As you look ahead, you can see about two more side tunnels off to, to the, the side. So a total of about six side tunnels down this main tunnel. Now on to the next chapter. Why, Solaris, don't you think you could uh, use some of those floating mystical ball things to just send them down these paths so that we could see what's going on? Yeah, you want me to send them down one in each hallway? Uh, maybe one at a time just so we can see what's going on. Okay. Cool, I will Unless then... we all want to watch a hallway. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I like hallways. I think I can send down, if I don't down. want to do orbs, I can also do four torch side lights. Or I can do torches, lanterns, or orbs. I'll just do the orbs, it's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, so um, I'll send them down. You want one at a time, in, or do you want one in each hallway? Um, so you have a range of 120 feet. Um, you can yeah. go and be yeah. like yourself. And it has to be like within 30 feet of each other or something like that. No, it's not a problem if we send them all down. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. So you walk up to the entrance of the first one right here, and you, you send down the swirling purple lights as they illuminate this long, long cavern. Um, you see it goes down, 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 about, about 100 feet down, right before the edge of your range. You do see it stops. Um, it just seems to be like a dead end. You see some gravel, some tree uh, shoveling. So that's one path. Yep. Nothing there. Yeah. Just, just go through this systematically. We're just going to go through all of them. Okay. You continue on your way and systematically uh, check the remaining ones. You go to this one, nothing. That one, nothing. This one, you look down at the far end, um, you actually see it looks like a uh, large barrel um, with like, a, looks almost like gold or maybe brass um, um, holding the, the perimeter of the surface um, together. So like, what's the one I'm looking for? Bindings, uh, restraining clamps, circular, circumferential. Something. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I have an idea. Just a barrel at the end of the hallway. Mm -hmm. We want to check out the barrel. Yeah. Maybe there's one of them hiding in it. Possibly. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> they don't seem smart enough to hide, but let's check anyways. I'll, I'll take point on this. Okay. So. so you make your way down that side hallway, uh, single file, because it's, it's pretty narrow. Um, and uh, you make it up to the, the barrel first. All right, uh, then I guess I'm going to see if I can try to open it. Okay. And do I have to do any roll for that? No, but you have to roll for something else. One oh, second. no. <laughs> One second, let me just pull this up. Oh, dear. <laughs> Who owns this barrel? <clears throat> is this the property of the mine? It probably is. Please make a dex check. Is this just okay. him or all of us? Just him. Okay. All right. That's going to be plus one or whatever this is. Oh, that's a, that's that's, a six. That's a seven. Oh, seven. That's a seven. That's a seven. Okay. <clears throat> so <laughs> you reach out and you, you grasp the edge of the lid and you, you try to pull on it. It doesn't seem to go anywhere. Um, and so you pull on a couple times and nothing seems to work. You try to let go and your fingers are kind of glued to it. Oh, no. uh, you can't actually take your fingers off of it. No. You feel like you're completely stuck to it. Uh, as you're sitting there, just like, what is this? All of a sudden, the, the, the roof of the, the barrel caves in. You see these teeth crawl out. One tarnation? <laughs> and the actual barrel then begins to like move up and try to bite you. Uh, oh, no. My man. Something about this seems very familiar. So, 15? Yeah. Uh, that matches my AC? Yeah. What's uh, the rule of grappling? You're grappled by the barrel mimic, by the way. Oh, I do not know the rules. So, like, uh, does that have advantage? to attack you if you're grappled by it. I don't think so. I think it just reduces his speed to zero. That's right. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's right. Okay. 
So, so it, it matches it, so you do get hit, though, anyway, right? Uh, uh, yeah, I guess. Sure. So we'll play, you, we'll play that way. you take 10 bludgeoning damage. Uh, and you sit there as this thing is, is uh, you see this, this tentacle comes up right out of the mouth and just smacks you across the face as you're holding on to it. You, wanna, you almost fly away, but you're stuck to it. You can't go away. What did you um, touch? Uh, you all see <laughs> right over his, his shoulder, you see him just like freaking out and this thing smacking him from behind. Uh, everyone can roll initiative at this point if you want to do another one. That's a one from our mimic. Where was that 16 got, before? It's an initiative. Yeah. Initiative. Yeah. I've got so five. Should be at the very center of the top. Initiative. Uh, I got a nine. Yeah. Uh, so total, I got eight. Okay. I got 17. <laughs> So you're, you're first, 17. Oh, what'd you get? Eight. Eight. So you guys both had eight, right? Yes. I you, 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 you. I think I have a higher deck. So go ahead. You, you are yeah. grappled so, at this point in time. So uh, in this situation, uh, gosh. I think it's fast, right? Which is not somatic components. Correct. Yes. Which means I need to figure out. You can also make a strength check as an action to give it oh. away from it first. Strength check. Uh, yeah, I'll try to break free using strength. Yep. So that is going to be a 14 to hit, or a 14 to break. You manage to rip your hands off. They're covered in this weird sort of like pinkish oh. goo uh, where the, the thing was touching it. That's disgusting. Uh, and I'm assuming that's my action, right? Uh, yes. Uh, oof. Does it still look like a barrel? Kind of. I mean, it has the, the shape of a barrel, but where the lid should be is this gaping maw with like large fleshy teeth and okay. this, this tentacle coming out of the middle of it, flailing around and smacking people. Um, so I don't really have much options here, uh, so I'm just going to uh, pull my scimitar and just wait for it to attack. Okay. I, don't, I, can't, I don't think I can move around my compatriots. Uh, I would say you could squeeze past, like if you're... It, it's better if I'm up front. Okay. Okay. Uh, your turn. Yeah. Um. So to try and save you, I'm already I'm already free. Oh, you are. Yeah. I zoned out. <laughs> I was looking up this because I was like, this could help, and then I guess I zoned out. So you're good. <laughs> I was like looking up something on my phone because it was like my it's other okay. item, and I'm like, good. this might work. Good as relative. Scratch everything I just said. It's all okay. Scratched. Okay, Thank so you. what do you choose to do? Wait, so what happened now? So, We're just so he's standing up. So, he is in front, so the monster's in front of me. In the barrel thing. Yeah, the barrel okay, the that's still there? Cool, yeah. cool. Okay, then that works. Nice. I assume Moonbeam has disappeared <laughs> at this point. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it's been gone for a couple yeah. minutes. Yeah, um, can I use my, uh, my firebolt? I'd prefer you not. You I feel like I'm it? probably standing in front of you. I think I probably am too. So this is like the the order that you guys are in, right? So you're no, first I just, and yeah. her, and at, then that and that. At, an, at a specific object or creature within oh, range. Oh, okay. It's yeah, not like an in general thing. Um, I range. I make a range spell attack against the target. Yep. On a target or on a hit, the target takes one d fire damage. Um, a yep. flammable object hit by the spell ignites if it is if it isn't being worn or carried. So I'm going to use my fire bullet. It's an action. Do it. And it's one d ten. One d ten. We have to roll the hit, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. it's to roll the hit. D20. Plus 7. That's total. a 9. Should be plus 7. Plus, plus 7. Because it's your charisma plus your proficiency bonus. My charisma is... Plus 4. four. Plus... So it'll be yeah. plus 6? It's plus 4 plus your proficiency. Proficiency is you're plus 3. You're a 3 at level 5, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So that is a total of 16. Cool. And then I get uh, a D10. 2D10. Because 5th level. I get 2D10. Oh, Cantrip progression. Cantrip progression is correct. Right. Uh, that's a D10. Yeah. I am aware of this is a D10. Thank you. Oh, I'm trying my best right now. So that's a, a 6 and a 5, 11. That's 11 damage. 11 total damage. Uh, both. Did I get ability mod to it? Uh, no. I don't think so, not for that one. So, so both, uh, both of the, the bolt flies past right over your shoulder and just slams oh, into it right down the, the toothy maw, and you see like smoke and fire come out of its mouth as it kind of gargles on fireball. Or file, firebolt. It's a bit warm in here now. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry, uh, my bad. You're up. I'm up. Uh, all right, so I'm just going to shoot it. Okay. Seems like a solid <laughs> choice. <laughs> 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 just flying by my face. Yeah. <laughs> please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. <laughs> That's an 8, so 16. That'll hit. 
Radical. And shoo boop 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 doop That's eight. an eight, so 11 damage. All right, do another 11 damage. This arrow flies right over your ear, yeah. nicks oh just the tiniest gosh. bit of it, uh, and slams right in, into the side of it. It kind of makes a squelching squeal noise. You're up. Okay. Um, I imagine that's what it was I'll like. I'll try and get up next to it, and then I will use my um, short sword this time instead of punching. Okay. I'll, uh, yeah, I'd say like five feet. It's, it's enough space you can wiggle past um, with like half movement speed. It's fine. Okay. Um, Not touch that. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Yep, that way. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and make the second attack as well. Sure. Uh, well, that's a 16 plus 7, so it's a 23. Definitely. And uh, then 2d6. So that's nine plus eight is seventeen. Maybe. Seventeen total. Yeah. Okay. Well done. Okay, you uh, and that's uh, with your sword or with fists. Sword. Okay, so you swing your sword, biting into the weirdly like gooey soft shape of this yeah. hard-looking barrel. Um, however, it's still intact, and as you're standing there, it will then attempt to lash out at you and get you as well. Okay. Assuming clenches, this like, just this like. pinkish tentacle just flails out from within the mouth uh, right at you. That is twelve to hit. Oh. It slams into the wall behind you and uh, misses you entirely. Then we have back up to you. All right. Uh, I'm gonna take my uh, trusty scimitar and I'm going to make a swing at it. All right. And that's a nineteen. Yep. Yep. Uh, that's gonna be 1d6, and that is 6 plus 3, that's 9 damage on that. Uh, yeah, and I think that should handle my turn. Okay. Uh, you're up. Isn't it his turn? Nope. Nope. He goes after you. I do. You're up. It's because of the order. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, I wanted to do Acid Splash. Okay. Throw so, some acid. Yeah. Um, Don't drop it. Sizzle. You have to make a dexterity saving throw or take 1d6 of acid damage. And that is a... Huh? Is it kind of like a snail where you just dump salt on it? And just That's nine, so it fails. Go ahead oh. and roll damage. So 2d6? No, it says 1d6. It, you're level five. It's 2d6. Oh my gosh. Is it true for acid splash or just for it's fireball? True. true for most. It, it's yep, for it says it right there. Yep. Yeah. Amazing. Grab a second d6 and you're good to go. Boom. That's five. Five damage. Does five damage. Uh, well you see that this barrel creature, its shape is really starting to like fall apart. It doesn't hardly looks like a barrel anymore. You see pieces of wood and like shiny metal kind of sticking out of this amorphous glob of pinkish flesh. Um, not looking pretty. And then you um, fire another arrow. You know, I will... <laughs> You know what? <laughs> I will approach and I will attack with my short sword. Okay. Oh my. So you, you shove your, your way in, short. climbing over your <laughs> teammates. Oh, I, will, I, will, I will attack with my short shorts because I'm looking fabulous. Okay, roll, roll for... And with your hotness. <laughs> All right. Roll for um, fierce. 13 plus 6, 19. That'll hit. All right. And that is a D6 uh -huh. plus three. I was gonna say you're killing it, but you're literally and figuratively killing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, oh boy. boy. One. Okay. <laughs> so one. I take one, it back. One plus three, that's four damage. Okay. <laughs> you, you slice into it and it squeals as you do. It looks very rough. It's basically almost in two pieces. They're kind of held together at the bottom, but it's, it's not dead yet. Yeah. Okay. Your turn. Let's see if I can kill this thing. Can you? Punch it! I'm just gonna go ahead and roll these at the same time. Uh, t 17 and 23. 26 to hit. The first punch, you connect and it just sticks into it and it just goes limp before we have a chance, a chance to do a second one at a one hit point limp. Yeah. Um, nice job. And uh, yeah, it's dead. Sweet. Awesome. So Next time know. I'm not taking point. I don't even know what that was. Uh, you can roll a... I'm gonna roll for intelligence. Reminder, minus one. Oh, that's a natural one. That's I have a... no idea what that was. I think it was just a regular barrel. It's a just nice. by a hug. It smells like with barrels. It was oh. a very weird barrel. I'll roll real quick. Yes, it was carnivorous for some reason. Okay. Uh, 18. I think it was just trying to be friendly. Plus, what am I adding? Uh, intelligence. No intelligence, so 19. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so you guys think about it for a minute. You recognize what this probably was? Probably a mimic. Yeah. Oh, probably a mimic. One of those. 
thought it was just a really weird barrel. It just wanted a hug. <laughs> it, se it seems to, it seems it to me I've I hey. encountered something like this in a book once. It was called a mimic, I believe. Well, I mean, it was mimicking a thing, so. It was. Aptly named. This seems to make s this this tracks. Was there anything in the remains of this mimic? Uh, okay, roll ahead. Make a nature check to uh, dig around inside the guts and find something good. I am proficient in that. That's a three plus two. That's a five. <laughs> you you dig around for a bit. Um, you pull up this like weird misshapen sort of like organ. You don't really know what it is. You don't know what it's for. Toss it over my shoulder. That's all you got. Ooh, delicious. That's the chestnut. <laughs> that's the that's the chestnut. Are. I know, but so that's what they taste like. <laughs> There's blood dripping down my face. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> As you can probably make a Constitution saving throw, please. <laughs> no. You did this. <laughs> You take a bite and you're like, does this, t is this what chestnuts taste like? Like, you, you really want to know. You're just desperate to understand what a chestnut is. Um, you take a bite out of it and um, no, it's not good. It's, uh, it's real bad. And you immediately vomit up your morning's breakfast uh, as you attempt to, your body attempts to remove this horrendous you know flavor it from happens. your mouth. It happens. Chestnuts. <laughs> what even are they? What are they? You mean, you mean organs. Right. Chestnuts. Chestnuts. Oh. What are they good for? Puking. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know what? I just go. Worth. Yep. Worth. I just go, yep. Yeah. That that tracks. Can I just can I just you point know what out? Else tracks. I'm never buying another chestnut from you again. <laughs> well, don't worry, you never buy any from me. I thought there was different. There might be a different variety. Maybe it maybe it depends. That might be the northern chestnut that I've heard about. Good point. We did come from the south. <laughs> I mean, that's where I grew. <laughs> so Those northern and southern chestnuts <laughs> and it really got me. <laughs> you guys have three remaining uh, three remaining tunnels to explore. All right, let's check them out. Yeah. Wait, did we did we not Orbs. do we not figure out at the end like at the end of the rest there were nothing or the previous two there was nothing this is the third one and there was this okay okay, okay. would it be possible for me to use cure wounds on myself go for it okay I'm gonna do that uh, while yourself. while we continue <laughs> okay give myself a power stop back. that cow <laughs> you did fine I'm it's going to health. clean this <laughs> off while you guys yeah, continue you to explore her. and heal yourself a bit. I'm going to... Oh, are we healing? I'm healing myself because I need. Oh. I need it. I took ten points uh, of damage. I'll heal you. Uh, I was like, are we just gonna rest? I, I, <laughs> we we could. We, we could save an hour. We yeah. could just sit here for an hour. Do a short rest. Um, yeah, if you want to, some at the end points. of the hallway. Anybody got some? I, if I rest, do I get my spells back? Uh, no, no, that's not a sorcery no. thing. I don't think so. No, no. I will get That'd one spell back though. That's a. Because I was like, how does it work? Because you get spell slots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to take a long rest to get your spell slots back. That's like a full night's rest. I cry. It's like eight hours. Correct. This is four. So. No. Okay. So are we taking a short rest? Or in this dark, <laughs> scary hallway? With, with the entrance just like a couple feet behind us. Yep. <laughs> like we yeah. haven't even made it that far. I, I think we can pro we can probably pass on the rest. Okay. All right. I, uh, I vote in favor no, of no, passing. I'm gonna, no, okay. I'm gonna do that cure wounds on me. Okay. So, uh, that's one d8 plus spell casting ability. So that's. So you are doing a short rest? Uh, no, 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 I'm just using cure oh. wounds. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be plus 10, so Very I'm, nice. I'm I'll, back to pretty okay. I'll, I'll do the same on, on her. Aw, thanks, bud. You're doing okay? Yeah, Buddy fine. okay. And so we... Uh, yeah, you okay. just dodge this. everything. So it's a three, and then what am I adding? What am I adding again? For plus your wisdom. Million. Plus your wisdom. Plus my wisdom. Yeah. Okay, so zero. Uh, so three. Three. Nice. But okay. Yeah, I just got like maybe a little bruise on my shoulder. I'm just glad I didn't hit Twitch. <laughs> Twitch is yeah. hiding. It reminds me of League of Legends because the little rat is named Twitch and you can play with him and he shoots poison arrows. Never played that uh, before. It's okay.